what is up guys julius here and today i'll teach you this seamless super smooth transition so i am here in my after effects where i prepared two clips i just layered the them on top of each other this top clip is the one which we will be transitioning into the transition will last approximately 30 frames but of course you can change this to however or what you like this first top clip from where it starts i'm gonna go 10 frames forward i'm gonna press p sorry t to enable opacity i'm gonna enable keyframes to turn it down to zero go forward another 10 frames and turn it up to 100. so we have this thing going on it's a simple cross to solve that's beautiful <clears throat> Next thing, what I'm going to do is going to right click down here, new, null object, and hit OK. I'm going to go forward another 10 frames. And I'm going to go into our null, press P for position. I'm going to press R for rotation, enable keyframes, and I'm going to press S for scale to enable keyframes. I'm going to press U to see everything that we keyframed. I'm going to go into our clip that we're transitioning into, selecting this parent link and putting it on the null. Beautiful. Next, I'm just gonna go forward or back a few frames. Let's play around with the position. I'm gonna change this one to 1920, 1080, let's do 150, and then let's do negative 45. And then let's take these, put them 10 seconds before our capacity transition begins. Now we have this thing going on. This is not very cool, but it is something, right? What we can do then is click on our bottom clip also and link it to the null. Now they both follow the null. We have this cool thing going on. And it's already starting to look pretty good, but we can make it look more smooth, of course. I'm going to search for an effect called Tile. This one motion tile that I'm interested in. I'm going to apply it to our bottom clip. Click mirror edges and just crank this up a little bit. So we get some mirrored edges. I'm just going to apply this one to our top clip as well. Just give me a second. I need to make sure that we do not have any black edges. So something like that. And like that. I think this should be fine. So as you can see, now we have this really beautiful transition already. All right. How can we make this more smooth? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable some motion blur. If you do not have this, just press F4 and then click on this one, motion blur. So we get this blur here as soon as the position changes on the node. You can see it makes kind of like a pretty huge difference. Next up, I'm gonna select the keyframes on our node and just press F9 to easy ease them. And we can go into the graph editor and even maybe let's change something like the position, make that ramp up in speed. I think that could be pretty cool. And maybe let's leave the scale and rotation just how it is right now. We get something like this. I really like that. And keep in mind, you can play around with the duration of the transition, like where your position starts from, and the scale and the rotation you can play around with of course the grass right of the uh, of the keyframes and whatnot so there is a lot of customizability on this transition but i really like this example that i just gave so that's why i wanted to share it with you but anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new if you did then please make sure to like comment and subscribe anyways take care guys bye bye